When it comes to getting into a new relationship, there's always that lingering question in the back of our minds. What's her past like? Has she had a string of short-term flings? Or has she been in a few long-term relationships? While it's not always easy to get a straightforward answer, there are some subtle signs that can give us a glimpse into her dating history. Today, we're going to explore the topic of identifying red flags in a potential partner's dating history. One of the biggest challenges we face when trying to figure out someone's past is that it's not always polite to directly ask. I mean, who wants to come right out and say, hey, how many guys have you slept with? That's just not a great way to build trust or intimacy, and it's definitely not a question you want to be asking on the first few dates. Even those who manage to ask don't always get an honest answer. But at the same time, we want to get a sense of who this person is and what their values and beliefs are when it comes to relationships. It's a delicate balance and one that requires some finesse. The truth is, everyone has a past, and it's up to us to decide whether or not we're comfortable with theirs. But how do we know what we're getting ourselves into if we don't have all the information? For some of us, it's about trust. If we trust our partner, we're more likely to be open-minded about their past. But for others, it's about knowing what we're dealing with and making an informed decision about whether or not we want to pursue a relationship. Unfortunately, it's not always easy to get a read on someone's past, especially if they're not forthcoming with information. We tend to focus on the present and how they're treating us, which can sometimes lead us to overlook potential red flags. However, by paying attention to certain behaviors and patterns, we can start to piece together a more accurate picture of their dating history. However, it's very important to know that our insecurities and biases can sometimes get the best of us, leading us to misinterpret or overanalyze every little thing our partner does. It's crucial to strike a balance between being aware of potential red flags and not jumping to conclusions. The first sign that someone has had multiple partners in the past is that they're overly comfortable with physical intimacy. If she is pushing for sex early on in the relationship or is always initiating it, it could be a sign that they are used to being in a lot of short-term relationships. This isn't always the case, of course, but it's definitely something to be aware of. When she's extremely confident or even aggressive when it comes to flirting or making a move, it could be because they've had a lot of practice or have developed a certain swagger from their past experiences. The second sign is that she has got a lot of friends of the opposite sex. Now, having friends of the opposite sex isn't a bad thing, but if someone's got a huge network of exes who they're still in touch with, it could be a sign that they're not very good at setting boundaries. A large number of acquaintances or friends of the opposite sex could indicate that she has had multiple partners in the past. Is she always swiping through dating apps or is constantly flirting with other people? Then it could be a sign that she's not fully invested in the relationship. And that's a major red flag. This is a way of keeping her options open. The third sign is that she has got a bit of a player mentality. If she is always talking about how she is a free spirit person or how she can't be tied down, it could be a sign that she's not ready for a committed relationship. If the person you're dating seems way too laid back about commitment or labels, it could be because she has been around the block a few times and doesn't get too attached. She might not be taking things seriously because she has been hurt before or because she's just not invested in the idea of a long-term relationship because of what she enjoys outside. The fourth sign is if she's extremely confident, almost too confident. If the person you're dating seems to know exactly what she wants and how to get it, it could be because she has had a lot of practice. She might be used to getting what she wants when she wants it, and that can be a red flag if you're looking for someone who's more humble or willing to work through things together. The number fifth sign is if she's evasive or secretive about her past. We all have things we'd rather not talk about, but if the person you're dating is being super evasive or secretive about her past relationships, it could be because she is hiding something. Is she always being really vague or changing the subject whenever you bring up her ex's issue? It's definitely worth exploring further. Sign number six is if she has a lot of female friends, and I mean a lot. If the person you're dating has a massive social circle filled with women, it could be because they've got a lot of past hookups or friends with benefits. This one's not always a definite sign, but if you notice she is being a bit too friendly with her female friends, it might be worth paying attention to. Sometimes the signs can be as subtle as the way someone talks about their exes or the ease with which they jump into a physical relationship. 
But whatever the sign, it's essential that we're paying attention and that we're not ignoring the red flags that are waving right in front of us. In conclusion, spotting the signs that someone has had multiple partners in the past requires a combination of intuition, observation, and communication. Remember, it's not about judging or assuming the worst. It's about being informed and making smart decisions about your own life. Take the time to get to know someone, pay attention to their behaviors and habits, and don't be afraid to ask questions. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, kindly like it and leave a comment to encourage this work. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more valuable contents on relationship tips.